Hi, this video is about evaluating sources critically. As a college student, you will discover there are many assignments where you are required to use a variety of information sources. They may be websites, books, ebooks, articles, videos, and other types of media. You must be able to evaluate the reliability or accuracy of those sources because not all sources of information are equal. For instance, a rumor you heard from the 112th person to repeat it would clearly not be as accurate or reliable as the person from whom it originally came. You will want reputable scholarly sources on which to base your class papers. Those sources will be much stronger because they are based on higher quality research. So, how do you find such reliable sources? The library provides access to everything you will need, unlike the unregulated ocean called the Internet. But research can be confusing. We suggest that you begin with our subject guides. Out of the many listed here, let's choose the one about occupational therapy. Notice that the first guide listed is the main guide for that topic. Subject guides were designed by USM librarians to provide a quick point of access to essential information resources within the subject area. Make use of them often. The databases listed on these guides are a prime source of articles in the field of occupational therapy and contain thousands of articles which can be sorted during your search to provide only the scholarly, peer-reviewed articles that most instructors expect you to use. What does scholarly peer-reviewed mean, anyway? It means that the articles were reviewed by the author's peers or other experts in that field of study. Only those articles that are judged to represent valid research and to present the information concisely and accurately make it to publication. Such journal articles typically don't look very pretty. With no advertisements, they're not exciting to look at because the content is research-oriented. Time Magazine, Newsweek, and Psychology Today are more entertaining, but they are not scholarly, having been written by good writers who may not be experts in the fields they wrote about. The same goes for newspapers. That doesn't mean those are bad sources for some projects, but they're generally not acceptable for college-level papers. Examples of scholarly peer-reviewed publications might include one called JAMA, which is the Journal of the American Medical Association, most law reviews, or journals published by professional organizations such as the American Chemical Society, or particular journals that your instructor may recommend. Those articles will always include full information for citing the source, as well as an abstract and a strong bibliography at the end, here called References. The bibliography shows the exact sources the author consulted in writing her or his article, thus adding a great deal of credibility to the article. In fact, you could actually look up those cited sources yourself to verify the information. So, can you find such articles in Google? You can, but they're few and far between. The library databases provide easy access to material you will never find on Google, at least not free of charge. The databases also let you narrow any search to scholarly or peer-reviewed articles from the beginning of your search. To help people evaluate information sources, something called the CRAP test was developed. CRAP, in this case, stands for currency, relevance, authority, accuracy, and purpose. The test consists of a series of important questions that will help you determine the academic usefulness of websites, journal articles, books, and more. You should always evaluate sources of information by these criteria. We have provided a PDF copy of the full CRAP test on this page for you to review. But even when using the CRAP test, you may still have questions which is one reason why librarians are available. Call, 
chat online, or stop by the reference desk to ask for help in determining whether a book, article, or other source is reliable. The librarian on duty will be happy you asked, and so will you.